Hey ACG family, it's Tony. I have got a new camera and I am going to do a vlog today giving you an update on this round of Thin Deluxe. Today is day nine of my round. Yesterday I reported my stats that during the first week of the LCDs, I had lost seven pounds. I think I've had rounds when I've done better, but um, for this particular round, for a number of reasons, I am a little bit slow on my losses, and I'll talk about that later. Um, I know I promised the people in my group and also my friends on Facebook that I was going to do this particular round without doing any cheating. And I was just going to stay on task and stay on protocol. And that's why it saddens me to tell you about the experience I had yesterday. And first I want to say that during every single one of my HCG rounds, except one, and that was the last round, I didn't experience this, but on day 10, day 9, 10, 11, somewhere in there, I just have this day where hunger appears out of nowhere. I don't have any hunger during the first VLCDs like some people do. And I don't I don't struggle with hunger dur during my rounds except like day 10. And I mean, it's a real hunger and none of the tricks work. Um, none of the extra drops that I'm taking, the Garcinia, Cambogia, the raspberry ketones help with this. Um, it's in my stomach is just rumbling and growling. And it's happened to me so many times before, I recognize it when it happens. But generally, it's not until I'm well into the throes of this day that I go, okay, this has happened before. You know, you can make it. You can get through it. Um, yesterday was one of those days. Uh, it was stressful. It was a stressful day for me. Some stressful situations going on. And I'm sure that might have had something to do, do with it. Um, I started feeling the hunger and I thought I will just eat extra of the on protocol foods and that's what I started doing. I thought I'm going to be way over my calories but I'll just stay on protocol. Well I'll tell you by seven o'clock I was eating granola bars. By nine o'clock I had a piece of sausage in the skillet that I ate with um, an apple and something else, something else I had with the sausage. I don't even remember, but the way this day goes is I'm just looking through the fridge, looking through the pantry just for something to stop the rumbling and the hunger. Um, I really can't put my finger on it to whether it's emotional or it's really physical. Is it my body crying out for something that it hasn't gotten? But that was the day for me yesterday. And uh, quite frankly, I was afraid to get on the scale this morning. I got on the scale and I was up a pound and a half. Not surprisingly. I stopped counting calories at about, I don't know, 800 and something. Um, but what I realized is that in my past rounds, if I just keep going, if I get up the next day and not let the amount of weight and the damage I did the day before get me down, things even out. The weight goes back down. I'm, I'm The next day, it's like a new day. I'm in control. I don't feel any hunger. I don't feel like uh, eating things that are off protocol. I'm just back on track. And so that's what I've chosen to do this round. There have been some what I call failed rounds where I've just given up. I've let that get me down. So much, I don't even try the next day. I just say, forget it. I've blown it, I'm off. And I know a lot of people struggle with this. Just feeling like, you know, I've, I've worked really hard and I've lost a certain amount of weight. How could I have just screwed it up in one day and gained a huge chunk of weight back? So, the way I'm looking at it is, so what? Uh, I lost seven pounds, I gained... A pound and a half, I'm still down 5.5 5 pounds um, 
in seven days, in eight days. I mean, in what plan, what protocol can you do that on? Today, uh, I got up, I had my coffee. I was fine. I took my drops. Uh, I think it was afternoon, after 12 o'clock when I ate my on protocol lunch. I had fruit maybe an hour after that. I am still in control of uh, hunger and cravings. It's like yesterday never happened. It's so weird. Um, I think one of my other Facebook friends said that she has a day like that too. And, and probably she handles it a lot better than I do. But um, that's just what happened to me. I don't know if anybody else has gone through this. We'll see what um, tomorrow brings. I'm sure I'll be back down because I'm sticking to protocol and I'm not having any problem with it. I'll probably make a vlog about once a week um, and there will be several more vlogs because I am going to stay on the HCG for or the Thin Deluxe Drops for about 60 days. I have 20 pounds to lose and I know my weight loss slows down towards the end so I'm just planning on staying on uh, until the first part of November so I can get to my goal before the holidays and be working on maintaining before all that holiday foolishness starts. So uh, 60 days, 20 pounds, that's my goal. I'm going to change my commitment to say from saying that I won't ever cheat um, to I'm just going to keep going no matter what. And, and to back up a little bit, I don't even define what I did yesterday as a cheat. It was like a binge. It was a full-blown binge that, in my mind, was fueled by hunger. I don't know why it happened. I don't know why it disappears as quickly as it comes. But hopefully you guys can comment and explore that with me. Because I'm, really I'm really interested to find out kind of what's going on. Yeah. One more thing. I want to get some shout outs to some of my old school ACGers that are in the house. Uh, Miss um, HCG210, Eileen, last 20 pounds, Jenny, Blonde Ambition, uh, Simone, HCG Journey. Um, I want to see some more from you. And I just want to let you guys know that I'm taking some time to catch up on my videos. I'm behind like about three days, but I appreciate you so much for uh, supporting me and sharing your journey because I, I can't do it by myself. I need to know that I've got some sisters out there in the struggle and I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.